My Apron by Eric Carl. My Uncle Adam wears a white apron. The apron has a big pocket in front. He is a plasterer. He plasters houses inside and outside. I want a white apron with a pocket, and I want to help my uncle Adam. Plasterer is a person whose job is to apply plaster for walls and ceiling and other surfaces. My aunt Elizabeth measures me. She cuts a piece of cloth and sews an apron with a pocket for me. Thank you, Aunt Elizabeth. I love my apron. In the morning, my uncle Adam and I go to work. First, we mix a batch of plaster. Mix. Then, my uncle Adam asked me to carry the plaster up to the top floor, so he can plaster the chimney. All morning, I carry plaster up the stairs to my uncle Adam. Thank you," says my uncle Adam. "You are a good helper." At lunchtime, my uncle Adam and I sit down and eat and talk. All afternoon, I go up and down the stairs to carry a pla the plasters to carry plaster to my uncle Adam. I am a good helper. Late in the afternoon, my uncle Adam and I go home to supper. Supper is another word for dinner. Next year, I will help my uncle Adam again. Then I will get a cap, just like my uncle Adam's. The end. This is a letter from Eric Carle, the author. It says, "Dear friends, my apron is a true story that happened when I was eight years old. I had a couple of days off from school and visited my aunt Elizabeth and Uncle Adam. They had no children of their own and were happy to have me around. My aunt." Was as gentle and talkative as my uncle was gruff and tight-lipped. Gruff and tight-lipped. What this means is that、um, his uncle is a little bit of、um, rough. Tight-lipped. It means having the lips closed most of the time and not talking. But when he did speak. His booming voice could be heard for miles.、It、means that he has a his voice is very loud, and it can be not soft and、um, like whispering. It's booming, like a radio. Yet underneath his roughness was a kind man. I have visited my relatives often before, but this was the first time that I noticed my uncle's apron. And right away, I took a fancy to this big white apron with a pocket. I took a fancy, meaning he really liked the pocket and the apron. I still remember how proud I was of my very own apron and how important I felt to help my uncle with his work. Sincerely, Eric Carle. 
So this type of artwork that Eric Carl did, um, he used the black line art. It's drawn on a thin sheet of transparent polyester, so you can see through. And then it's superimposed onto colored tissue paper collage. So he will use tissue paper. The, then the result will look like this. As Eric Carl developed my apron, this book, the unusual and honest way in which the French Cubist painter uh, Fernand Ledger painted laborers came to his mind. Most of Eric Carl's relatives were laborers, meaning they are toolmaker, painter, tinsmith, plumber, butcher, baker, and of course a plasterer in his uncle Adam. This is his uncle Adam.